Hello and welcome to the lecture on creating the table. So creating the table will create the table using PHP MyAdmin. Okay, and then we'll execute all the SQL statements via the PDO. All right. So I have a database here, SchoolDB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. So go to server localhost or go to home. Then click on databases. Okay. Select this SchoolDB that has been selected and you can click on drop. Okay. You can see the select statement here drop database and then the database name you see okay okay the database is deleted so let's create a new one similar one and then we'll start looking at all the steps like creating database creating table columns some fields and also insert some data in it so let's create a new database click on database and we'll say school db create the table name is co student we'll use three columns say go the first one we will have will serial number and then we will have the student ID and the name okay and the first one we will mark it as primary key and we will mark as auto index okay and the second row onwards is ID and the name basically will say varchar of 100 okay so this is our structure of our table say save all right so it's saved now go to browse okay you can click on student there's no records here see select asterisk from student no records let's add some records here go to insert you don't have to add yes and no you can just say one two gem and you can say go here right go to browse now you can see your records okay you can edit it from here if you want you can edit from here you can you know copy over or you can delete it all right so we have created our table student table we have created our database school db okay and then we have also inserted some rows in the table all right so we have learned how to create a database table how to add some value and also we have seen how to delete a database okay so i believe create this create this school db and student in your php my admin then we'll look at pdo how to connect to this database then we'll do some sql operation on these tables all right so that's all for this lecture and see you in the next one